We don't think we need to explain what an alert is to a streamer. But what makes Lumia Streams Alert so special? Quite simple. Because Lumia Stream supports all alerts in one app, plus every integration Lumia Stream offers. Over 100 alerts plus 70 plus integrations all in one section. In this guide, we are going to go into a little more detail about each section of alerts. So we go to alerts in the left sidebar. There we will see all our possible integrations that we have connected and that offer alerts. Depending on the integration, the alerts vary of course. As a like doesn't make sense for Twitch, but it does for Facebook and Twitter. If we now click on Twitch, we see all the available alerts. For Twitch, this is particularly a large number. We go to the subscriber alert for our example. In the top section, we see a button that allows us to easily disable or enable the alert completely and for later, the test button to see if the alert does what we want. To the right is the preferences drop down menu. Here we set where our alert should come from. You have the choice between Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and Tippy Stream. We recommend always the direct platform as the setting. So for Twitch alerts, Twitch, for Facebook, Facebook. And on the far right is a checkbox to set whether you want to use a basic alert or just different variations. Next come the main settings. There we first see two checkboxes. The first determines whether our subalert should also react to prime subs. In the second, we set whether we want to have an alert for multiple gift subs or for each gift sub individually. If you receive many gift subs, the second could quickly become exhausting. Under delay, we set whether the alert is triggered immediately or with a delay. In type, we select our studio type. Here you can choose whether you simply want to light up a color or a scene, reaction or animation that you have created beforehand. But you can also choose themes, buildups, views or simply light on and off. In the value field, you can select your color, reaction or animation. And under duration, you can set how long the alert should run. You can also add audio or your smart plugs and key lights to the alert. Next come the dynamic options. If you use a reaction, animation or perhaps no light change, these are grayed out. If you simply use a color variation, for example, then you have a lot of options here for how your alarm should react. The first option is skip queue, which allows the alarm to run outside the queue and thus not interrupt any commands. The second checkbox makes this alert your default state. This will then remain the default even if you restart Lumia for example. The third field states that this alert is allowed to act as a dynamic default. This means that it remains activated until something new is triggered. Below that, there are now many skip replay actions. These come in handy if, for example, you display each gift sub individually and don't want to keep triggering different features repeatedly. The next two options are self-explanatory. One is TTS, with which you can have a message read aloud, and the chatbot message, which the Lumia Stream chatbot should post in the chat. Now comes the Lumia Stream magic that makes our alert so unique. Under Advanced, you will find all the actions you can perform with your integrations, be it pausing Spotify, sending out a tweet, changing an OBS scene, or even time out someone with a Twitch action. You can switch commands on or off with a Lumia action, send MIDI signals or start an app. And of course, custom code is not to be missed. It would take too long to go into each management individually here, but you are welcome to visit our YouTube channel where these actions all have their own tutorial. Whew, a lot of options, but there is more. In the bottom section, you can create variations. Click Add Variation and a creation model appears. Give the variation a friendly name and select what the condition for this variation should be. In our example, you can choose between random, the sub-tiers, 
how long a spectator has been your fan, if it is a prime or gift sub, and how many gift subs should trigger the variation. For example, you can specify here what should happen when a viewer subscribes for the 10th time, or an extra alert for the person who gives away a sub for the 100th time. This is where the Lumia actions come in handy again and you can assign this person to a VIP group of people. You can also mix variations and the basic alert. That is, the basic alert covers normal tier 1 subs, while a variation triggers a special alert for tier 3 subs. Select an option and enter the value that must be met under condition value. In our example we choose subscribe month equal to and decide that it should trigger at 5 months. The modal closes and your variation is in the list. Theoretically, you could just continue now, because the basic settings are done. Click on the small edit panel of your variation. Here you can now, as explained before, make all the settings that you can also make for the base alert. All alerts work in their principle, like this example sub alert. Of course, there are small differences in the variations, as a gift sub variation makes no sense for an OBS alert. What alerts would you like to see coming next? Write it in the comments. Like and subscribe to not miss out any new tutorials and have a luminous day.